All right, it's about time I made a, an update on the battery. Um, it's done a lot of miles, this battery now. Probably close to 3,000 kilometers, something like that, maybe more. Uh, a few years old. Um, it's done pretty well overall. It's done, it's done really well. Uh, but there's a few things that I definitely would change for my next build. Uh, so it's, it's definitely easier for me to show you these things and admit to my faults. Uh, as, as painful as that is, <laughs> then let a load of other people make the same mistakes. So, I've got all the blue heat shrink off. I actually bought quite a lot more of that because sometimes it's nice to be able to just take it apart without having to worry about getting it re shrink wrapped again. Uh, so, I can, you know, I can open it up whenever I need. Now, the most of the welds, well, first of all, this is a, this is a hot glue pack. So, it's not like some of the ones you see with the black cell holders. Um, each individual cell in all these little gaps down between them they're held together with hot glue so uh, you know there's a bit of debate you know which which is the better way to go building cells uh, building battery packs uh, but this has worked really well for me and uh, to be honest uh, I'll go through some of the issues I've had well first of all let me say this BMS uh, absolutely uh, faultless really really good um, I did a little bit of research, you know, looking around on the usual places, Endless Sphere and all that, um, to try and find a, you know, a, a, a seller that other people had bought BMSs from that have been reliable. But yeah, that's that's actually been really good. I thought that if I was going to have problems, that would be where the problems would be coming from. So the first issue I had with this pack was uh, a very long time ago now, as you can see by this absolute mess up in the corner. Um, let's see if I can zoom in on that. Oh, I'll zoom in but I'll lose my focus. But you can see there I've re-soldered on. This is the main positive for the pack which comes out of this corner and what I didn't realise at the time of building this although the cell layout is actually pretty good uh, it worked out quite nicely. Most of the welds pretty solid. I think I put about six, uh, three at least on each, each cell when I was doing it. But up here uh, I started to have problems with this parallel pack. The voltage on this pack was dropping. I couldn't. I couldn't work out what was going on here. You know, this this pack was losing energy faster than the other packs. So my initial thought was the BMS is doing something wrong here. The BMS has got a faulty uh, balancing resistor, and it's bringing this this pack here down lower than it should do. But um, what I realised, of course, is this nickel strip. This nickel strip is great. It's really easy to weld. Um, it's pure nickel. You got to be very careful. You don't get the steel plated with nickel because that's very different. Um, the steel plated with nickel is the equivalent of pure nickel versus pure copper which is in my mind is how I was kind of treating this this nickel strip. Obviously I knew that it wasn't uh, as good a conductor as copper uh, I was aware of that I just didn't realize how different it was. So what, what I'd realized is I was putting out maximum maximum I would put out of this pack is 30 amps max and I don't do it for very I don't do it very often I don't usually do it for very long because the amount of power that you get at the bike is just unnecessary um, but you know I do do it sometimes and what I realized is to get that power out of here there's this was connected up here I think on this final cell and it had it's basically got two paths it's got this strip here and this strip here so I'm trying to pull 30 amps upon among these two uh, between these two strips sorry yeah, it's 15 amps each, and I'm pretty sure the kind of happy current you'd want to put through this thickness and this width of this strip is about six six amps. I read somewhere, and you know, just from working out how conductive it is and how much heat it would generate, so that was way over what it should have been, and I think that was wasting energy as heat, and that's what was dragging this pack down. And obviously, it was creating heat, so this pack was getting hotter than it should have been. I mean, not that that was something I ever noticed; it never really affected anything else. But one thing for sure is that if you follow this, um, that was an issue, if you follow the main power wire there, it comes to here, okay, this is a little bit short and this cell was getting tugged probably more than it should have been and it did actually break loose on the glue because I mean if you look at it, it's on the corner, you know, you can't really rely on the nickel strips for any kind of mechanical strength. Uh, so that cell did actually break loose and I replaced that cell just in case there was any issues with it. So that is actually a newer cell than the rest of the pack. And I mean, look at this. This is a mess. This isn't what you want to be doing. Uh, this was such a, a last minute fix, so to speak. So yeah, not ideal. That was the first issue I had. Uh, other than that, 
So there was another issue I had with this pack as well. So if you see this sort of line in the gaps of cells that runs up here, I think inside this line, because it's, I assume it's because it's where the pack narrows, so it's kind of a lot of weight hanging down, sort of t talking that way. Um, I think it has separated the hot glue inside this, and so what was happening is the mechanical strength was coming from, uh, well, these connectors here, and obviously the same on the other side, it's all identical. But, well, it's a little bit different on the other side. Um, they just sort of shifted over, but the strength was coming from here, and you might be able to see, you might not, you can see in the reflection anyway, they've kind of buckled, uh, and that actually broke loose some of these spot welds, and of course, that broke the path of uh, current through the pack and just made it die and um, you know show nil voltage I mean I fixed that now I've just rewelded them on the thing is it's, it's a funny thing really because when when you're building these packs I know when I was building the pack for sure like you do your research I'm sure people if you're watching this you might be researching doing a similar thing I, I'd recommend doing it it's, it's a good thing to do but I, I know for me uh, at the beginning there's a lot of fear involved <laughs> All you, or you go on the forums and, and people are just telling you about how dangerous everything you're doing is. Um, which it can be if, you, if you're not smart. But you just... The thing is, I built this pack. And for a long time, I was just very, very careful with it all of the time. Which is not a bad thing. But as time's gone... You know, this is about... It's probably like three years old now or something. Two years old? I don't know. Go, you can go find my other video and correct me. But, um... Yeah, as time's gone by, I've realised that this has been really reliable. Like... It's it's given me confidence in it because of how well it's worked, which is great. That's you know ultimately that's success in a way. But <laughs> because of that, and because I know that I'm going to be creating a new pack soon with a different design, a different layout, and for for different goals really, uh, this is kind of in my mind become my second pack. <laughs> so as such, I've started treating it that way. Um, so because of that. Uh, I might have been a little bit rougher with this <laughs> towards the end of its life. I mean, it still works now. I'm still using it. Uh, but I did take my non-suspension road bike trail riding quite aggressively. And the, I mean, this is just sitting on the frame. No kind of protection, really. Just some very thin sort of packing foam. It won't, be, it won't have done much good. So I was basically mountain biking with this battery attached to the, the steel frame. So, I mean... You know, I, me telling you that this is broken here and I've had problems up here, I was really caning it, <laughs> to be frank. Uh, I was, you know, I was flying downhill at speed on a, you know, fairly skinny tyres, you know, treating it like a gravel bike, really. So, I mean, that's what's caused the problem. But I would definitely build a pack like this again. I'm not sure whether I'd use hot glue again, because, um, you know, it might... In, in my experience, hot glue just isn't very strong. It's always kind of good at creating a shape. It's almost like, kind of not 3D printing, but if you want to fill a void, it will make a, a shape that fills that void. It's just never very sticky. It doesn't have kind of a hold. I'd probably use something a little bit more suited. Maybe even something that passes the heat between cells better. Not that I've had any issues with heating whatsoever. I've never, ever been able to feel any kind of heat coming from the pack. Um... But then again, you know, I'm riding on a road, so, you know, I'm have sort of moderate to low power levels constantly. And really, for a pack this size, any kind of power you ask from it is considered a low amount of power. Because because the pack is bigger, you're asking a smaller percentage of the total capacity, which means, you know, less overall power compared to uh, the size of the pack, versus somebody with a smaller pack asking for the same amount of power. It's uh, equivalent speaking. It's... Uh, it's more, but yeah, no problems with temperature at all, which is very nice. I thought that might be something I'd run into, but no issues. So I I have done, like I say, about 3,000 kilometers, probably more on on this battery, and it's been really reliable. Um, I've seen no degradation whatsoever, but I do charge to 90%, um, probably 60% of the time. Uh, the rest of the time I'll charge it to full, but uh, you know. One thing about this project is is building this, a lot of the concerns I had about building a battery were taken away. So if you're thinking about doing it, I'd recommend going for it. Uh, like I say, usually, leave uh, any comments you got down below, I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.